right, guys, we're back in the booth tonight. I wanted to thank our sponsor of the video, LureBuild.com. Jimmy has excellent blanks, eyes, stencils from Insane Custom Stencils. He has his own brand. Uh, so go check him out, LureBuild.com, for all your painting and lure supply needs. So let's get to it. All right, we're going to get something painted tonight. We're going to do a rappel and knockoff. I can't remember which one this is. It's a X14, I believe. It's actually got a holographic insert and and it's got a weight transfer system in the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a transparent shed. Oh, I was actually watching a another YouTube channel with uh, Randy Blockett, the pro fisherman, and he was just saying that, you know, a lot of people want to fish red and real bright colors during the spring, and um, some of the best um, catches he had during the spring, even when the water was muddy, was on a transparent shad bait. So I figured I'd give it a try. Um, and what we're going to do tonight is we're going to use some Whit Whitmore Farm stencils, a Cap V2 which uh, Jeff just sent me, a great stencil. He sent me another fin um, stencil. And we're gonna, um, we're gonna see what we can come up with tonight using those Whitmore Farm stencils. And uh, like I said, you need to go and see Jeff's product at Whitmore Farm. Uh, you won't go wrong, they're excellent stencils. They give you, <laughs> he gives you a lot of extras on them. So go give them a try, go look him up and get you some ordered. So let's get started. So what I'm gonna use first is I'm actually gonna start out with a, um, a silver sealer. And if you haven't used the new silver sealer and it is number 6013, it is very bright because I am gonna use some black candy on the top of this. And uh, if you have not used it, you know, when you're using your candies, it's actually, um, you need to spray it over a silver. Oh, uh, and this silver's new and it's actually very bright. So we're gonna get some loaded up in the gun and we're just gonna come across the crown of this lure. I'm not gonna go down the sides cause I'm gonna put a little bit of shad pattern with that um, Cat V2 stencil that Jeff sent me. So well, I gotta do something about this compressor. It's, it's about fixing to go. So we're gonna come across the top. And like I said, this is a very different sealer than the other. covers really well, but it is super, super bright. That's why you want to use this silver sealer when you're going to apply a candy over top of it. So I'm going to clean the gun out. I'm going to let that dry for a second. I'm going to heat set it. Yeah, my old my old compressor has got a small leak in it. I've had it for years. I run through a, a compressor about every couple of years, and I can hear it whistling. You probably can too. <laughs> so we're going to just get through this. I'm going to get me a new one here in the next week or so, and we're going to move on. Let me go ahead and heat set, set this really fast. Oh, 
but I just thought it was interesting when I was watching that channel that he said that. I never have tried it, and I'm surely going to try it because that guy can fish. Um, it's uh, Intuitive Angler, I, I believe is what it's called. He's very interesting to listen to. I, what I like about him is he's he's very brutally honest, and uh, and he knows what he's talking about. He's he's been on he's been on the pro tour for probably 35 years. All right, so the next color I'm gonna use is, it is a transparent golden. It is called Shading Gray. Um, it's very airbrush friendly. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this new stencil. I'm gonna load the gun up. This is a little, it's a little dark, kind of a, a darker gray, but it is transparent, so. That wasn't good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the stencil. I haven't cut it down, I just got these. He just sent them to me, and I appreciate that, Jeff. That was very kind of you. So, the plan that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the bottom and the sides transparent. It's got a holographic insert in it, so that'll kind of make it cool. And this is the new stencil. It is a Cap V2. You can get that at Whitmore Farm www.whitmorefarm uh, for more design. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just set it on the side here because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna run it, I'm not gonna run it down the back. I usually cut these up a little bit, especially for these smaller baits, but I'm just gonna ease it. I'm just gonna ease it from the top over here just so I can see some of the scale that I'm gonna use. I just like the look of this. And you see what it does. It gives it a crazy looking cool scale pattern. So what we'll do is we'll flip it over and I'll do this one upside down. And I'll pretty much just line it back up like I had that one. I don't wanna get it on the eyes. Let it come down a little bit and there you go and you know that's the thing with the um the shading gray it's also transparent so you know all the paints except the sealer are going to be transparent the candy black is going to be transparent um and what i'll do i'm gonna i'm gonna use his fin wheel v1 and i'm gonna put a small fin on this to match, this is a great stencil. It's got multiple sizes, so you can find whichever one that you want that fits your lure. A great stencil. And let's see, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna heat set that really fast. It's, it's looking a little bit wet. Hang on just a second. I don't put a lot of paint on these stencils. You don't, that's the key to that is not just blasting it and you'll get a better result. Um, we'll try this in the shading gray and see how that turns out. Just got to get one small enough that I like. And I kind of like this one and I'll just line it up right in here. This thing is sliding, sliding down on me. And that looks good. Turned out really good. I like that. I'm glad I didn't do it in black. I kind of like the transparent better. So I'll wipe that off because you don't want to put a... Um, 
wet paint on your lure, especially when you're trying to do this. So we'll line it back up. Try to go just below that gill plate. Just put a light dusting on it. Take it off and there it goes. We'll let that dry while we mix our candy. It just gives it just enough of a cool scale pattern. I really like that. They're small. Um, but like I said, with his stencils, he gives you so much extra. He gives you shad. You could do shad dots off the bottom, your gill plates, lines, more gill plates. He just gives you a lot for your money. They're very nice. They're made out of good material. They're going to last you a long time. Just keep them clean. I'm going to go ahead and hit these eyes with the gray. I'll tell you what, I am going to clean that out and put a little bit of black in. We'll do a We'll do a kill dot toward the middle of this bait. Let that dry. My gun's sticking a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of needle juice in here. Got that cleaned out. We'll put a little bit of black in. And I've got me another stencil that I've used for years to put my kill dots on. It's actually a um a shadow shield. And it's, I've just got it, I've just got it taped off for different size shad dots, and I just that's what I do. I'm gonna put a decent size one on this. Um I kind of well I got the small one I could do. Um and just get a dot on it. I'm gonna get some of this carbon, carbon black. Get a few dots in it. I like to leave the caps open on this paint. It gives me fits, it's my own fault. Get the paint and forget to leave one of them open and you're having to dig it out the next night when you're painting. It makes fun painting. But you won't go wrong with these paints, I'll tell you that. Those golden paints are, are airbrush ready. They're nice. Depending on which gun I'm throwing it in, I do reduce it sometimes, but you don't really have to do it much. It's already at a good um good airbrush spraying thickness. It it just they're just nice. So if I really goofed up with this thing. I'm gonna have to, you know, like I said, you're gonna see it just like I do it. So when I goof, it is what it is. And I've goofed. I leave the black open more than I do any because I use it more than any of them. And I see it as soon as I get into the to the shop that I done left it open. I'm going, here we go. I done done that again. There it goes. Not gonna need a lot. Trying to see if that little one's gonna be big enough for what I'm trying to do, and it probably will be. Uh, I think I'll still go with this one. It's gonna be a little big, but I it's a translucent bait, and I kinda I kind of want the dot to be pretty decent size. Yeah, that'll work. We'll go back over and try to line that up. Now what I'm going to do, 
I'm gonna clean the gun out and I'm gonna mix me a little bit of black candy up and just get a little bit on that top. Um, that's really why I sprayed the silver sealer because I knew I was gonna come back with um, the black candy over top and uh, it'll actually really give it a vibrant color. I don't mind if the top is not transparent. Um, I do like the black candy. I don't use it a lot, but it's actually a very um, cool candy. It's got a little bit of a violent tint to it. We have blueback herring where I live here, and uh, it just gives it that you know that impression when you use this black. It's got a a little violet tint to it. So I'm gonna put a few drops in there, and I'm gonna get a little bit of reducer. I always make too much. I don't know why I put so much in this thing. This is a simple pattern tonight. It's not a hard one. But I want to try it. I'm going to be doing some fishing. And I haven't done a jerk bait in a while, so... I figured I'd just give it a shot. Somebody had asked me on one of the comments on YouTube to do some. They wanted me to do a baby bass, but I just, you know, like I said, when you come over here and you start painting, you got to do what you what you feel your creativity level is going to be at. And it wasn't, I'm sorry, it wasn't a, <laughs> it wasn't a bass. I wanted to do a shad. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it across the crown very lightly. I don't want this to bleed down and cover up the scales that I got on here. And as soon as I get done putting this on, I'll, I'll show you. Um, this candy is going to be really thin. I'm going to have to be really careful. It's already, it's already spider webbing a little bit. And I got to be careful, careful with that. I'm going to have to build this up. to get that and dry it off get my other gun and just put you know just slowly build that candy up like i said i, I like to reduce it and that's the you know that that's a setback to it because it's going to be loose but that's just the way i like to paint it and i'm just going to dry it off with cool air and i'll i'll just slowly build that top up take but a second I haven't put a whole lot on there and the more you build it up the better it's gonna go okay. and I'll cut it down even more and we'll start just getting it on there that's a lot better. But it's just gotta be light. I don't want it to run. You can put bleed checker in it. And I'll dry this off again. It's just gonna be a little bit of a process. And then it'll fill in. It looks kind of spotchy on there now, but that's the way it always looks. It'll move, it's loose. I just don't want it going down the side. And then it'll, it'll cover up. It always looks like it's a mess, but it always works out. So don't panic when you see that, especially if you if you have to reduce it, I'm, I mean, I'm spraying that through a 1.8 gun and it's probably reduced 60, 40. But that's just the way I like to paint. Some people may just use the UVLS and the candy and shoot it straight on. And you probably could, you know, you probably can do that if you're shooting a, an eclipse or um, something a little bit on. I start to run. If you're shooting an eclipse with a 35, you know, 
or um but I'm shooting a point one eight and it's just a little different game and I but I'm used to it so it doesn't bother me. It you know it takes me a little longer with this step, but I like the way it turns out in the end. I just don't want it to blast on there. And I'll slowly build it up and get it covered. And it'll look really good. It just takes a few steps because it is loose. And there's nothing, you know, it's all right. I'm not, I don't panic about that. I've sprayed enough of this candy where it's just, I just got to get it dry. wet on wet when it comes to the candy 2-0. You just want it to dry and just build up your color. Take your time. Like I said, you don't have to reduce it as much as I do. Because like I said, it's, it, when you first put it on, it'll, it'll kind of look a little messy, even with the silver sealer on it. You can see it's actually starting to build up and it it turns out really good. It's just the way I like to do it. Pretty cool blanks. It's actually turning out pretty nice. Like I said, the candy just, it's just a process if you wanna, you know, and it depends on what you're shooting it on. I'm shooting it out of that little gun, so it just it just takes me a little longer to do it. That's just the way I do it, you know? That may not be the way you choose to do it, but I've just had good results with it. really is not a hard bait to paint. I think any any skill set level can do this relatively easy and it will catch fish. see that or not but the the scale pattern that this thing has got and it's trans it's, it's transparent the 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 shading gray is really transparent but that new stencil he's got is out of this world for this it gives it a really neat look and again that stencil is the um it is the cap v2 at www.whitmorefarm if you like doing shad baits, it really gives a neat look. And with this bait having the, the holographic insert, 
it really makes it shine and it doesn't even have epoxy on it yet. And you can actually throw the micro prisms in with that to even give it a better look. Um, it'll be very sparkly. So you can see where it's kind of it's kind of darkening up good now. I just don't want it to run, and I'll probably leave it at that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this back out because I don't want to keep wasting paint. I made way too much. That's what I was telling you. I mean, some people like to mix in a gun. I just I've always mixed in a cup. And, you know, is that the right way? No, it could be any way. You, you can mix it in the cup if that's what you want to do. I just choose not to do it that way. I've always just mixed in these little plastic cups from Sam's Club and I'm just set in my old ways, I guess. So we'll dry this off and then we'll put some eyes in it. And uh, hit it with some UVLS. take this tape off the bill. I can get my hands on it. And I'm just gonna use some, some silver six millimeter glue on ice for this. I think they just look best for a shad pattern this size. Um, I actually got these eyes way back in the day. I ordered them from China and I've had them for quite a while. Um, but I think they give shad baits the best look. Um, I've got to get me some better looking glass eyes for some of these baits that I'm doing for these shad. I'd like to try something different. So we'll stick these on. And I think these will really give it a good look. It'll serve the purpose of what I'm going to use it for. Take it out and let you see it. I actually turn on. I, mean, I absolutely love that stencil, Jeff. It is fantastic. These guys that are painting, and I'm not a big shad painting fisherman. I mean, painter. I don't do a lot. I do some, but this one actually turned out really cool. You can. I'm trying to turn it so you can see the transparency of that shading gray with the black. And you can see the scale pattern. That's gonna be one you're definitely gonna to wanna to get. The fins are absolutely really cool. I'm glad I did them in the shading gray. It kinda of, it kind of gives it that super invisible look. You can still see it when you turn it certain ways. And the kill dot is dark, so it's good to go. So we're gonna hit it with some UVLS. Go ahead and get that mixed up. And uh I'm not going to epoxy this one tonight. I'm gonna, I may do this one in another video. So I am going to put some micro prisms in with the with the lure coat. Um, you know, I did. I got a lot of support off of that video with lure coat. That stuff is outstanding. You need to get with Jimmy at lurebuild.com and check it out. It's going to be my go-to. Um, Jimmy's got a lot of fantastic products too. Blanks, stencils. Um, the paints now, I'll tell you what we may do. Let's do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one other thing. I'm going to let that sit. I've got some, um, some color shift paint from Jimmy. Um, it's 3212. It's got like a, um, pink to green, 
I'm going to put just a little bit over this black and see what kind of effect it gives. And then we'll dry it off completely and put some on. These are very airbrush friendly also. Uh, I used this Green Goblin the other night and it was just a fantastic paint. So we'll put a little bit over this top and I'll let it bleed down a little bit. And I can already see it, it's kind of cool. I like the color shift paints. The guys have really done a, um, uh, a neat looking job with these paints. Jimmy has done a fantastic job. Wow, I think y'all will really like that too. I really like that, especially putting it over that black. Very cool. So you're gonna wanna look him up on that. Those shifter paints are very nice. I think that's just gonna add to this bait. So I'll draw that off real quick. Then we'll shoot some UVLS over it and it'll be done. Just get a, a simple pattern in tonight, but effective one. Like I said, it's got a weight transfer system in this bait. And you can see the color shift in it when you turn the bait in the light. That's that's what I love about them. They're just they're really cool. Just for your painting arsenal. So go check Jimmy out at lurebill.com and uh get you to try some of these paints. working on a peach color and I, that one looked very cool okay so we'll hit it with a little UVLS and this one will be finished up except for epoxy and I'll do that on a, a later video just try to get a few in here videos i don't want it to get super super long so we'll just go ahead and hit the whole bait hit a little bit on the top and what the uvls does it locks your colors in just remember it's not a um it's not a final coat i'll tell you what that color shift paint is very cool it is very cool. That is gonna be a knockout bait. All right. Well, I hope everybody liked the video. Go to www.whitmore farm, get with Jeff, get some of these great stencils. So you can do baits just like this. Get his fin wheel, his cap too, and uh, give him a shot. He's got a lot more varieties than that. Um, get with Jimmy um, on the shifter paints, the lure coat, um, his new um, iridescent paints. He's got a lot of stuff to offer for your lure on um, building and supply needs. So go check him out. Hit the like button, subscribe. Appreciate all the support that I'm getting. Um, hit the bell notification so you know when I'm doing future videos. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks.